Hello again. I'm going to do another uh, fermentation uh, video using yeast, but this time I'm going to use lactose. And I put some lactose uh, sugar in water and dissolved it. Uh, but I'm going to use two different uh, uh, quantities of lactose. One has a lactase enzyme tablet in it. This catalyzes the decomposition or the splitting of lactose into two monosaccharides, the one on, on the right, and the one on the left does not have it. Uh, they've been heated up to about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put 150 milliliters of the dissolved solution in each bag. These are sandwich bags. Okay. And I'm going to use the uh, quick rise yeast again, like I did with the glucose in a previous video. Okay. So I'm going to put them in the bag. Squeeze out all the air as much as I can. And mix them up. Do the same thing with the other one. Squeeze out all the air, mix them up. This one has the enzyme in it, this one doesn't. And we'll see what happens. Okay, well our experiment is complete and the results are, are very interesting. The lactose without any lactase did not ferment, or did not ferment at least very well. We see very little expansion of the bag indicating the production of carbon dioxide and, and hence ethanol. But the, the one with the lactase enzyme tablet uh, did ferment quite nicely. We see a nice big uh, bag full of carbon dioxide. And um, this shows us, um, by the way, the lactase takes the, uh, the uh, lactate and is able to um, catalyze the breaking apart into the two monosaccharides, uh, glucose and galactose, I believe it is. And uh, those are easily uh, fermented by the yeast. 
So we can say that the yeast are lactose intolerant, like uh, many people, and that lactase does indeed work. So uh, thank you for atten your attention, and I'll see you next time.